Live from the Dude's Kitchen and Grill Studios in a garage somewhere outside of Boise, Idaho, it's your Wednesday night barbecue and talk show. And now your hosts, The Dude and Monica. Monica, what's going on? How are you? I am all right. Actually, I just came from right on. Uh, deliver- delivering some food to my child who had uh, ACL surgery today. Oh, <laughs> right on. So I just got done uh, so, delivering casserole. <laughs> oh, nice. Very nice. Well, I'm glad you made it. We got Craig uh, from Behind the Garage Barbecue uh, behind stage. Uh, I do want to thank everybody for showing up. I really do. Very, we're very. I'm very humbled. Yes. So, should we get Craig on? Yes, let's do it. Let's bring Craig on. Craig, what's going on, Mike? On with this. How you doing, Monica? Hey, how you doing? I'm doing well. All right, right on. Craig, thank you very much for uh, hanging out with us. I do appreciate it very much. Not a problem at all, Mike. Uh, yep. So, Craig question for you to start this whole dealy bob where are you from you always lived in new england or are you from yep rhode island rhode island okay yep. and Original now you're in Brooklyn, we're talking now okay and now you're in massachusetts area well i'm in rhode island i'm in rhode island i'm on the line of massachusetts. oh oh gotcha okay okay been there all so your life don't go that way and up the street mass and mass oh. <laughs> two different towns in mass and i'm okay here. all right well I like it. I like it. How about, how about animals? I know that you, you've got a couple dogs, and I know that you, uh, you did an episode once where you showed your dogs off, and it inspired my Zoe moments. Yep, I got two dogs now. We just lost one uh, in September, the girl okay. one. About, I got another boy one and my wife's other dog. The other dog was actually was my female dog's dog. It was like her little sidekick. Uh-huh. We had another dog that died. She was depressed, so we got him, and she took to him like her mother, like she was his mother. So, okay. right and there's a, cat, there's a cat with Roman around too. <laughs> nice. I've got a few of them as well. So, Craig, you got your channel. What do you do for the day job? I manage a garage. Okay. So, if I brought my '70 Camaro over, you'd take care of it for me. Yeah, I'd have someone else work on it, but my hands pretty much stay clean most of the time. <laughs> but we have a bunch of guys that can handle whatever you want. All right. I like it. I like it. How about uh, what did you want to do when you were a kid? What did I want to do when I was a kid? Yeah. You want to be an astronaut? You wanted to be a barbecue chef? Uh... I actually wanted to cook. I started in a restaurant when I was 14 years old. Okay. So it's always been like a passion cooking. But then I started doing cars when I was 16 and been there since, and I'm 47 now. Okay. Right on. Uh, what inspired you to create your channel? Just me cooking all the time. I do it anyway. One day I was just like, I'm just going to record it. I said, when I, now a 15 minute cook, it takes me an hour and a half. And by the time <laughs> I'm cooking, I'm eating cold food. But <laughs> it's fun. It's like, I'm not doing anything different that I wouldn't do if I wasn't recording. It. This is what I, I cook all the time. This is what I do. Okay. And then just you're eating cold food. <laughs> And on top of that, you have to edit, right? Yeah, it's, that's that's kind of easy. I just do it all on the phone. Shoot on the phone, edit on the phone. There you go. So, uh, hey, Frack Daddy, Daddy, Frack Daddy Barbecue asks, uh, hey, Craig, where do you get the inspiration for all the recipes that you put out? So, so I like, I, personally, I just like eating. It's all that's, that's how it all comes down to. It's like, what do I want to eat? What do I feel like eating? It's like I'm sick of the same stuff all the time. So I'm always trying to switch it up, switch it up, switch it up. So like I cook a lot more than what I record. You know, it's like I'm always doing something, but I'm not going to record every single thing because it's it's tedious. It's a lot of work. You know? huh. So it's like, I'll take a one cook on over the weekend, and then I'll do it. I'll get I'll go shopping for a Monday. I'm cooking it Tuesday, editing, sending it out on Wednesday. Wow, that fast of a turnaround! That's crazy. Wow, that is pretty quick. I go like yeah. I have one video you. that's not out yet. That's it. Yeah, good for you. Good for you. Smoking Joe. Smoking Joe's got a question too. He says, "How long did it take you to grow that beard?" <laughs> this right here is a little over a year. Really? Wow. You know, yeah, you know, I grow in the winter, and then when vacation time comes in in May, I shave it off. I go to Nashville. I shave it off. 
this year vacation didn't happen with all this stuff going on. So I was like, I'm gonna let it grow. And yeah, it's like so you're one of those guys that like can grow a beard like a like a play-doh <laughs> toy yeah. for the play-doh it's, and it's, it's like the Portuguese it just grows. <laughs> it, off and it starts popping right back. You can't stop it. This is a year and a yeah. half here. <laughs> there you go. Right okay, on. So- Let's see, Dr. Taste Good Barbecue has got a question. So um, you've got a lot of grills. What's the one that you still desire? I'd say well, uh, like one of the kettle grills. I'll use that the most out of everything. The what grill? A you... a web, like a kettle. One of the Weber kettle grills. Oh, a kettle grill. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. It's so the most versatile grill they could have. Like, if I was stuck with one grill, that's the grill I'm taking. Okay, but if you were um, still looking for one, you know, to add to your collection... Is there one that you're still desiring? No, I, just added the Yoda. I, just that, I just got that Yoda grill. It's pretty good right there. He's done. He's, he, right he can there. get to heaven now. <laughs> he's, he's See, that Yoda looks cool, man. That really yeah, does. That, thing, that thing's built like a tank. It's like not seeing it and buying it. It's like I bought it and then it came and it, it was a like scratch up when it came. I was like, oh, man. <laughs> but it was like surface scratch. This thing is, it, that thing's got weight to it. It's not if it was like like a pet boss I got, I think I'll work would have been destroyed. This thing is solid. <laughs> it's solid built. Yeah. It reminds me of a toolbox. Oh, it, it, it was it was like a struggle pushing it into the backyard to do the grass and everything else. It was like pushing a car. It's got some <laughs> weight to it. Uh, that's Great. pretty good. That's funny, man. That is yeah. funny. So right, Chris I'm... from East East Wind Farms asks, um, <laughs> This is kind of a funny, funny. What are you and Charlie doing now that the Vikings are no longer filming? <laughs> well, we're on break right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're living la vida yeah, local. Living your best life. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, That's funny. Uh, uh, anyways, what else you got? All right. So we know what inspired your channel. Um, where did the, the channel name come from? It's pretty much where I where it is. Behind the garage. It's behind the garage. Nice. <laughs> yeah, nice. It was like a no-brainer. Where am I? Behind the garage. So I was just behind the garage. <laughs> barbecue. No, I think it's a great name personally. Because I was I was already when I like I'd cook and I like put pictures on like Facebook and I tag it behind the garage. Behind the garage. Behind the garage. So I did the channel, I just put barbecue after it. So it's like behind the garage barbecue. Okay. So we know how you got started in the barbecue. What is Aside from the enchilada meatballs that you made, and I like I said, I had to watch it twice because I thought that was just killer. Yeah, like uh, I said, that was, that's a, tell us about that's that. A flyby recipe. That was just something quick to use those two seasonings in. Did it come out bad? It was pretty good. I thought it was great. Jared had a, a great uh, comment on that, you know, and 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 I added to it. it was, what a cool twist to uh, a traditional dish. I mean, meatballs and enchilada. I, I thought that was something, di- something different. It's like so you can twist pretty much anything up or anything. Like they did those um, uh, General Sow um, ribs and stuff. It's just like switch stuff up. It's just, you know, it's what you're putting on it. It's just, you can put it in anything. So you the know, enchilada, you the enchilada episode reminded me of something Patrick would do at Patty Joe's. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's a madman, that one. Yeah. I love watching his videos. And some of the crap you, know, he you see, like stuff who'll just put stuff on a cutting board. It's like you're really putting it in. It's like then he doesn't end up putting it into something. It's like damn. Yeah. Hey, uh, if pickles barbecue has a question, does he ever think about building his own pit? Building my own pit? Yeah. Where I am, I'm in a, I'm in a, I'm in a city, so it's, I don't really have much space. Where I am now, I'm that barbecue area now is 12 feet by 12 feet i probably got another eight feet to the fence and then i got to the, if you're looking at it to the left i got a hot tub on the right side of it then my wife's pools are on the other side around that around that garage over there and i got a garden over there i have no room but so i do have no charlie there. So nice. no plans for building anything new your wife might kick you out <laughs> yeah she's already got pets of the grills that i have already <laughs> we were talking beforehand. And he was telling me about all the girls that he had. At one yeah, I had a bunch. Yeah, but then we needed some room in the garage. No, I don't have that many in the garages. A Smoky Mountain twenty-two. I got another, a little Blackstone in there, and the 
a jumbo Joe inside of that. And I got the um, El Charles in there too. And a bunch of charcoal. And stuff. But there's a pretty much a pathway from the front to the back of the garage. You go out the back door, go out the front of the garage door. That's it. It's just that's taxi. But... Uh, so, so Craig, favorite dish or meat to cook? Uh, let's let's separate that. If you were just making a dish for your wife and whatever, what 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 would you cook? For my wife, it's going to be like steak or chicken. She's got a palate of a three year old. So okay. Not much feed. <laughs> I, I, I noticed you mentioned in the Cajun shrimp boil that she doesn't like shrimp. Nope. So, okay. All right. Uh, my wife's the same way. She doesn't like shrimp either. She'll eat, is, eat, she'll eat fish and chips. That's about it. Now the seafood. Oh, scallops are out to bacon. She'll eat that too because it's got bacon on it. Other than that, yeah. no. Same with mine. It's crazy how that works. Lobster, yeah. nothing. What's your favorite meat to cook with? Favorite meat to cook? If I was going to eat just one meat, I would probably say like, like a beef, some kind of beef. Okay. Steak, something. Yeah. Just kind of do it up however you want it was. Okay. Yeah, anyway, something on the, something on the grill. Something over like a charcoal or wood. Okay. So all of us on the chat, if we were to come over to your house, what would you make us? Well, I'd fire up the El Charos and throw whatever you want on it. Take one of those a Bra Brazilian poopoo platter. There you go. There you go. <laughs> uh, tell us about the El Charo. That thing is cool as hell. I, I've seen you cook on that many a time. Uh, tell us a little bit about it. It's just, you got one unit with six rotisseries on it. I got two of them, so I got 12. And I got the uh, little um, the little charo, which is the grill that goes on top of. So you run them side by side. It's pretty much just rotisserie. It's got speed control. You control the speed on it. Just rotate stuff. It's like a Brazilian steakhouse in your backyard. Oh, that's cool. And it, mm. well built, too. Right on. Smoking yeah. Joe's got one too. Okay. Yeah, we got. Uh, yeah. Okay. He's got a question too. Smoking Joe says, "Craig, how hot was the enchilada sauce? Scale of one to ten. I'm gonna say probably like two. If that. It's got a little spice. Doesn't have. Doesn't have like heat. Like burn your mouth off or anything. I got. It's just got a little video. spice to it. Okay. Yeah, smoking Joe says nothing, yeah, nothing really right. at all. I would I would bump it up if I was like making it myself. Okay. Did you share it with your wife? <laughs> Actually, she did. She had a couple of them to be honest with you. Nice. That's something she would eat. They got a meatball, so I'll show you. Nice. No wrong with that. No. <laughs> Although I'm not after watching that dish, I'm not sure I'd share, man. That's uh that's crazy. Oh, they're I pretty good. So, Craig, out of all the grills you've ever had, what's your favorite? Like I said, Both I would, now uh, and what you've had in the past. Maybe you had to get rid of your favorite grill. I still pretty much got all the favorite ones I want. It's like I like them all. Like, every grill that I have is a different thing to me. It's like I do different things with different grills. Like I said, if I could only have one grill, it'd be the Weber, like a kettle or something. If I could only have one. I got the I got this the Yoda there. I love that grill. But it's Something different with like charcoal, you know, it's like that thing is awesome, but the charcoal effect of it. I got a Weber Summit charcoal grill. Awesome too. It's like it's like the kettle's just bigger. It's kind of like a like a green egg. It's double walled insulated. That thing you can run like 18, 19 hours, 20 hours off a load of charcoal and set and just walk away and forget it. That thing runs okay. forever. Do you use uh, briquettes or the uh, oh, what the hell? I only use briquettes. If I'm, if I'm, if I'm smoking overnight, it's going to be a briquette because it's okay. more, it's to the same size, so it's more uniform. Mm -hmm. you're like, you got, if you got lump, you got big pieces, small pieces. It's not really a controlled burn to me. Gotcha. You know, you're going to get better flavor off lump, but. Okay. Okay. I got a question here from our, our uh, viewers. We've got one from. Um, it's Ryan Turkey. <laughs> uh, <so> Ryan! <laughs> yeah, he says, um, let's see here, beef, short ribs, or tri-tip? Tri-tip. I like tri-tip, too. And then we've got another one, let's see here, um, from Pickles Barbecue. Uh, Craig, what are your favorite Portuguese seasonings and dishes? Portuguese seasonings is not... There's not really a lot of seasonings in Portuguese food. Like like something like that's extraordinary. They do it like with wine, bay leaves, 
garlic. There's a lot of garlic in Portuguese food. Allspice mm. is another one. No, it's not real good. loud. Like, they don't get like outrageous with the spices. It's like if you're doing like that, like that, like a pecan or something like that. That's Brazilian or Portuguese thing. Then you throw salt on it. Yeah, you throw salt. Some of them will grind up like cross pepper and uh, bay leaves, and they would okay. they mar they mar a lot of it's like marinating. So, what are your favorite Portuguese dishes? Well, that Portuguese, the uh, spicy pork there, that's uh, like a cereal, we call it bleed meat. That there, I like doing um, like a Portuguese steak, which is, you're getting a steak and you're gonna, they mostly use like a, um, what do you wanna call it? Uh, I can't even think of a steak. Well, it's like, the, like a cheaper cut of steak. They'll pound the hell out of it and they'll put like chunks of garlic, bang it into it mm. and like, Layer them on top, let them sit for a while, and then you fry them all. It's like I'm gonna, I'm gonna I actually might do that as a cook. It's a Portuguese thing that has like a hot pepper on it and stuff like that. It's got like a beer sauce in it with tons of garlic. That is amazing. I don't know you if deliver. Do, but... you deliver. <laughs> yeah, by the time <laughs> I get there, it might be cold. The car will be gone by the time I get there. <laughs> they, um, I see. Uh, I have a girlfriend that is um, Portuguese. No, and she no, makes no, 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 <laughs> no. Don't even bring that stuff up. Nope. No point that's, my, that's my mother and my grandma stuff right there. Me? No. Yeah, I haven't that been too disgusting. brave to try oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Hey, you're, you're bringing the smells to me, right? I can smell the disgustingness right now. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's like childhood right there. It's like, nope. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff that when I was younger that I had that there was really no recipe. There was, the recipe was in their head. If they wrote it down, they just wrote down something. And as they change it, they just keep writing over stuff. You can never make it even if you had what they wrote down. There's only a couple of recipes of like my grandma and my aunt and stuff that I have. All the rest of them, they're gone. The recipes went with them. Yeah. And it's, they could give you the recipe, tell you how to do it. You'd make it when it tastes the same. And he told you exactly what to do. There's just something that they're not telling you that they put in that. Because every every family will have something different. You like like that spicy pork. My family can make it. Your family can make it. It's going to be two different ways, two different tastes. They all make it. They they change everything themselves. Really good. And only they know. Yeah, that's yeah. the sad part. They'll tell you, but they they don't tell you everything. It's like yeah, you tell me right. It's, it's not the same. <laughs> yeah, that's why my grandma was too. The only thing I can make that was exactly like hers is uh, chuck roast. And that was salt pepper. That was it. There you go. Easy enough, right? <laughs> yeah, but you had to. Uh, I I'm a subscriber of if you have to put steak sauce on a steak, it's no good. And yeah, like yeah to me, that's one of those things you have to put steak sauce on it. So <laughs> yeah. we got quite a few guests out here. We got Laura. It looks like Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Craig's out there. I like it. Thank you for right showing on. up. Yeah, uh, of course, we got Charlie. Hello, everybody else. If I miss you, oh, Mike from Big Cats 305. Hello. Uh, thank you, everybody, for showing up. I appreciate it. Uh, you know, Chris's, uh, what's Chris's Chris say? family secret? Chris's um, best family secret is no cilantro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which brings me to our, uh, yes. it was going to be our last question, but Craig, I have, I asked behind there, but we are running, uh, a thing, uh, cilantro or no cilantro? Right now, it's 1-1. One, one. I'm cilantro. Monica was no cilantro. Craig, cilantro or no cilantro? Yes. You see my cooks, it's in there. I, I knew you were, I, yep. When I watched your one of your cooks today, I was like, yep, I know how he's going to answer it. So I will mark you down as yes. So 2-1, we are... We're in the lead. I like it. <laughs> it's not as much. I don't use as much. I use a jalapeno, but it's it's up there. I yeah, I use jalapeno and everything. Right on. <laughs> so, if you had Craig, if you had to describe your cooking style in two to three words, how would you describe it? Two or three words. Fat guy cooking. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Ah, oh, dang it! That's awesome. <laughs> I can hardly wait to get Charlie on here to see what he has to say. 
he's the only skinny guy out there I know who cooks. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. Uh, I think I know the answer to this one, but uh, I got to ask it anyways. Go to rubs. Uncle Steve's. And I don't really, I, I got a, I got tons. I literally probably got about a hundred different rubs here. Okay. The one I use the most now is I use Uncle Steve's. I make my own too. Okay. I use about I just, a lot of my own. I just got this in today and I'm um, really looking forward to trying it out. That's the bird. One, yeah, I, so. I get that. I use that. That's good stuff. Yeah. yeah. So everybody, every time I make something to give to somebody, like, what is this? And so you tell them, it's like, damn. Yep. Like I got a few people that actually order it. It's like, they order it. It's like, then someone else is ordering it. Then they're letting their mother try it. And their mother likes it too. Or something. It's like, well, correct. It's what would you put Gator Shake on? Chicken, fish, shrimp. Anything I, I want that's that. citrus. If you, if you make guacamole, Whack a little bit of Gator Shake. Game okay. changer. I've done it on popcorn. I don't, I, don't, I don't really eat popcorn. Yeah. But in a guacamole, it's like a game changer. It, it just lights it right up. It's like, wow. If I ever go back to a movie theater, I'm sneaking in a thing of Uncle Steve's yeah. Gator Shake. Because movie theaters Thanks ever going to be open again, right? Yeah, I doubt it. No. <laughs> so, um, what? you've been cooking for a while. You've been filming for a while. What is your biggest blooper? And did you show blooper? it? Yeah, did you show it? I don't. When I'm cooking, I really don't. If I if, if I screw up when I'm talking, when I'm when I'm cooking, I don't edit that stuff out. The only thing I edit is the intro. I do the intros after I cook, and by the time I'm done cooking, a lot of times the words don't want to come out. So there's a couple yeah. of them you'll see me like I'll do I'll, I'll do those cuts like 15, 16, 17 times. Something just like I'll be doing it, and then it's like, here comes the neighbor outside. There's a kid over there. I'm just fumbling words. That's the only stuff I'll record, re, like we do as an intro. Everything else, if it, if it comes out wrong, it's like it comes out wrong. If it's really bad, I'll put a little thing on the screen, or, or like you, you meant this or something. I'll have like a little guy pop up or something, do something stupid. But that, yeah. Yeah, that's that's a that's they all stay there. I don't cut anything out of there when I'm cooking. The only thing I'll do is I'll pull it down, but it's like. If I'm going like this, like stirring up something for like 20 minutes. That's coming out of there. You know, I'll knock that down, fast forward through something, and other than that, everything else stays. I don't redo yeah. anything when I'm when I'm talking. And yeah, if I, I mess, mess something up, it's like I said, it's there. It's there. It, it's cooking, right? It's just real cooking. It's. I'm not. I'm not yeah. going to try it on a food network or nothing. I'm just out there screwing around in my backyard, having a good time. Cooking. Yeah, that's it. Good time, exactly what it is. It's, it's, a, it's a getaway from reality to me back then. It's like, I don't like really I don't go anywhere. Look at it. I'll drink beer in the backyard on a Saturday or something. And I cook out there on the weekend and I cook on my day off. That's it. Other than right. that. Okay. Well, what was your favorite video to make? <sighs> my favorite video to make? Probably you that first 60, one. Put, Sixty some odd videos, so you got quite a few. The, the first one that I put up, that fifteen second uh, pit beef video, that was a fast one. That was on a on a phone that I had. Is like, I think Charlie said, put up a video, put something up, just get something up. I just threw that up there just to get the channel started. And I think I've seen that one. I know. So. These okay. like a thousand, thousand something views. It's like fifteen seconds of poor quality of a piece of meat spinning. It's like whatever. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if it gets your views, it gets your views, right? <laughs> it's like, hey, you want to watch it? Go ahead. <laughs> That's funny, dude. That's a cook that I probably would like to do over, like actually do the cook. Any from plans on doing that though, or it's 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 possibly gonna happen. It's like it's getting cold now. I want to do that probably. Like I got like uh, the Gabby's Grill, maybe over a Santa Maria style type cook with that. See where it goes. Okay. Maybe on the El Charro, spin it. Well, that brings up another question hey, Craig, that I actually do have, don't have. Do you have Go a, ahead, Mark. Do you have a TikTok? A, do you have a TikTok channel? No, no, I don't have none no? of that. I got okay. YouTube. Had I got Instagram. <laughs> I got Facebook. I, I have. Uh, yeah, that's it. I don't have any of those other chats. Those whatever those talk things are. I don't even know how to do that stuff. I was like, yeah, I don't watch that stuff. Yeah. yeah. So, Craig, what <laughs> is, winter time? What are you going to do? Are you going to move into the garage? So it'd be no. behind I, in the garage. I I cook up there year round. 
That's why I built that thing. As long as the snow is not piled up on top of me, I'm fine. I'll sit out there. I got a TV out there on the wall. I can watch All TV. Right. I got Alexa out there without those speakers. I'm fine. It's just yeah. when it gets real, real rainy and at the end night at nighttime like this, like I'm not gonna sit out there now because I plan on being out there, but it's 40 degrees now, so I'm not going out there. It's been raining all day. So. Do you put anything down on the sides? So no, I got where that where that one cooker is. There's a wall right there. Okay, and it's got about two foot opening on the top on the top of it. Gotcha. Yeah, see so where I'm at. But I'm, you're sitting, I'm, go ahead. If you're sitting near those grills, they're throwing off heat. That's true. You know, you're not just you're not gonna sit there and be really cold. You'll be cold. I can let a fire. I got a fire pit that's over everyone like that. But I really don't. Yeah, that's that's cool. I like that. How about barbecue competitions? Did you ever joined one, or do you want to be in one? Well, funny thing with that was I was going to actually be in one with one of my friends. He asked me to be. It was in June. He does like barbecue stuff like that. He's like, you want to do one before all this stuff hit? He's like June thirteenth. I'm like, all right. He does like briskets, all that stuff. He's got kind of trailer. He pulls around with his truck and everything. Like, yep. And obviously, it never happened, but that would have been one that I would have went to to help him out. Just to experience it, see how it is. But personally, I couldn't really, I don't really have the time to do that. Gotcha. <laughs> you think it'll happen next year, maybe? or Who knows? Hopefully, right? Yeah. It's like I go to Alaska every year and got I'd like to. I'd like to personally just be able to go to a bar once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? You know what I'm yeah. Yeah. So that my next question was going to be: Ever think of being a barbecue judge? But if it doesn't really, you know, like that, not really. Really no. Yeah, I'm more of like backyard. I like watching everybody else do this stuff. Don't get me wrong. I learned so much by watching everybody that's got videos. Everybody that's on me, I probably watch all that, watch their videos too, and everything. I'm always like watching. We always learn. You know, you're gonna learn. You know, it's like you take if you cook something. I like how you cooked. I see what you're doing. It's like maybe if I twist this up here, I can do what, what he's doing. And what what she's doing here, and then make something. Just try something different. You know? That's cool. It gives you ideas. You get you get a lot a lot of ideas of watching YouTube. Correct. Yeah, it's like I was telling Monica last week. I never cooked the same thing twice. To be honest with you, yeah. always tweaking it. And the, and the same thing. I'll watch your video or maybe Charlie's or somebody's who you know, Mike's from Big Cats or Jared. And it's just like, oh, that's a great addition to to this. And I and I happen to be making it. You know, I'm doing a turkey this week. So I went back and looked at Ricer's video on turkey, but then CJ sends one out today on turkey legs. And I was like, now what the hell do I do? Yeah. You know, I watched both and I'm like scratching my head going, what the hell? Am I? I don't know what the hell I'm going to, how I'm going to do this. You know, it's just a big, ah. I, I write a lot of stuff down when I'm going along. If I'm changing something, I'll write it down. So okay. it's like, I'll, now when I'm done with it, I, I try to write everything down that I did on it. Cause I always change something a lot of the times. Like I just, write random stuff like on papers it's like it's like paper everywhere which is different things on it okay interesting like a mad scientist <laughs> just change, like change mad like, what, what's that? What's that? that was good but this is even better so i was like i gotta rewrite this down here again i'll just add on something on the side of it so i, I might actually be like Yum. my relatives that were writing stuff on top of stuff and i'm actually doing the same thing i complain about it but that's what i'm doing you know gotcha yeah, maybe you'll write a book and one of these film days. It, you film it, then you don't need to write it down, though. You just have it on film. So, <laughs> that's my, writing, my writing is on these videos. These videos go. That's the end of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's no book writing. Done. <clears throat> Mrs. Craig, do you concur? <laughs> I like what she says. He is addicted, watching, learning, and smoking. <laughs> I love the food, and it keeps us safe at home. I like that. Yep, that's a that's awesome. Yep. And now that he's got that Yoder, Mrs. Craig, he needs another something, another toy. <laughs> Let him have another toy. Now you're stirring up stuff said, like... What's that? You're stirring up stuff now. No, 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 no. I'll, I'll... Monica will pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. what? Craig, what? what would you say your biggest influences are when it comes to cooking? Obviously Portuguese, I would, I would think. Pretty, yeah, that, and it's pretty much, like I said, it's what I grew up with. It's just flavors that I had, and even now, like, watching stuff, just doing stuff that I've never seen before, like Huli Huli Chicken. Never heard of it. Tried it. Like it, you know? Okay. Stuff like that. Yeah, spatchcock chicken is something I've never done before, but I, I want to try, and I see it all the time. Uh, yes. 
It's pretty good. Just like even the, like the split them the halves, the chicken halves, the same. It's the same thing. You're just splitting it half, separating it. Cooks faster. You know, you're not getting a the visual effect of a whole bird there, but it's, it's going to eat the same. It might even taste better. You know? But it's going to be a lot, lot quicker instead of trying to heat up the cavity. It goes a lot quicker. Gotcha. It's a quicker cook. Gotcha. Well, Craig, if you had, let's say Hollywood made a movie of you, aside from me playing you, because I don't have a long enough beard, uh, maybe somebody from ZZ Top could do this. Uh, who would play you in a movie? I can't even honestly tell you. Some people say with, if I had the short bit, they, it's like all the ladies that go to my work say I look like uh, Billy Joel. I'm like, what? What are you talking about? It's like, I don't see that at all. It's like, it's like it's your eyes. Yeah, it's my eyes. All right. You'll be all right. Maybe it's your eyes seeing Billy Joel, but yeah, I don't look like Billy Joel. I have no clue to be honest with you. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I already asked you about the cilantro. Uh, Craig, last question. And I want to say thank you so much for being on. I really appreciate no problem. it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, anything you want to say before we take a quick break? I'd just like to thank everybody for being here, watching me, the two of you, Monica, Mike. It's, it's been a blast. It is been a pleasure. With the show, Mike. Like I said, you had me on. You can't get no worse than this. It's only up from here. It is <laughs> sideways with maybe a couple downs and maybe back up and downs and maybe a we're, we're down the bottom here. You're only going to go up. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, Craig, you're always welcome. Thanks, brother. Make sure that welcome. you guys make sure you visit uh, behind the garage barbecue and make sure to smash that like and subscribe uh, to that channel. And he's also got an Instagram. He does, and he's on Facebook as well. Name. He's on Facebook, yeah, and Facebook uh, uh, with Behind the Garage Barbecue. So, and of course, like you said, Instagram. So, Craig, thank you. I'm going to, I have to take a quick potty break. Uh, be back in two or three minutes. Uh, you're more than welcome to stay on because I think at that point we're just going to open it up to everybody. If not, I understand it's late there. Yeah, so it's quarter of 10 right now. Yeah. So, but at that point, we'll open it up to anybody. So if, if you're still on, that's great. If not, we will talk to you next time. I'm but, probably going to bounce out when I'm going to bounce into the chat. Okay. That works that's too. Awesome. All right. All right. Thank well, you guys. guys. Thank you very much again, Craig. We'll see you soon. Very moment. much appreciated it. Anytime, man. Yep. See you in the chat. All right, bye. Okay, sounds good. <clears throat> All right, guys. Well, I'm going to take a quick break. Um, let's see if I can get this right. I'm going to take a quick break. I will be back in three minutes. I'm old. I have to use the facilities. Oh, sweet oh. Jesus. You and my grandpa. The size yep. of a peanut. The bladder yep. the size of a peanut. <laughs> yeah. What was it on Big Daddy? Only you and my grandpa go pee every 30 minutes. Yep. Right. <laughs> and I'm a grandpa. <laughs> All right. I'll All right. be right back, guys. <laughs> 